Hi, welcome to all the things you're looking for. In today's video, I'm going to test and compare a bunch of different headsets in terms of call quality. I'm going to test them in different environments. Um, first, I will start in a quiet environment and then we have a coffee shop ambient noise and a train passing by. This video, by the way, is recorded with my MacBook Air M2 um, apart from the product shots. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, this is the Jabra Talk 65 in a quiet environment. This is the Jabra Talk 65 in a quiet environment. Well, and now let's try the Plantronics Voyager 5200 in a quiet environment. These are the Plantronics Voyager 52 in a quiet environment. I bought them quite a while ago. They, I think they are six to seven years old. Um, yeah. At that time, the brand was still Plantonics. In between, they are the uh, Poly Voyager 5200. Well, these are the AirPods Pro in a quiet environment. These are the AirPods Pro in a quiet environment. This is a test with the AirPods Pro in a quiet environment. How do they sound like compared to the other headsets? Well, these are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in a quiet environment. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in a quiet environment. How do they sound like? Well, this time the Sony LinkBuds. These are the Sony LinkBuds in a quiet environment. These are the Sony LinkBuds in a very quiet environment. How do they sound like? What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Well, and now let's try the uh, Sennheiser presence in a quiet environment. This is the Sennheiser presence in a quiet environment. Let's try to adjust the micro a little bit, put it closer to my head. This is the Sennheiser presence in a quiet environment. Well, these are the Bose Quiet Comfort in a quiet environment. These are the Bose Quiet Comfort in a quiet environment. These are the Apple earpods in a quiet environment. These are the Apple earpods in a quiet environment. These are the Apple earpods in a quiet environment, this time with the microphone a little bit closer to the mouth. The Powerbeats Pro in a quiet environment. These are the Powerbeats Pro in a quiet environment. And never mind the color, um, I just brought in for my wife for this test. Well, and now let's try the Bose 700. This is a test with the Bose 700 in a quiet environment. These are the Bose 700 in a quiet environment. And now the Biodynamic Salento in a quiet environment. These are the Biodynamic Salento in a quiet environment. And now the Biodynamic Salento with the microphone a little bit closer to my head in a quiet environment. This is the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay H3 in a quiet environment. This is the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay H3 in a quiet environment. These are the One More E1010 in a quiet environment. These are the One More E1010 in a quiet environment. Well, and now for something completely different. I also wanted to compare the Blendronics P7200. This is the Blendronics P7200 in a quiet environment. This is the Jabra Speak in a quiet environment. This is the Jabra Speak in a quiet environment. Well, this is the uh, coffee shop background noise with a decimal reading of 65 to 70. This is the coffee shop background noise with a decimal reading of 65 to 70, um, recorded with my MacBook Air M2 and built-in microphones. Well, and now let's try the Jabba Talk 65 in a coffee shop environment. This is the Jabra Talk 65 in a coffee shop environment with a decibel reading of about around 60. This is the Jabra Talk 65 with a, in a coffee shop environment with a decibel reading of about 60 decibel. 
And now let's write a Voyager 50 to 100 in a coffee shop environment. This is the uh, Voyager 50 to 100 in a coffee shop environment, and we have a decibel reading of around 60. This is the Voyager 50 to 100 in a coffee shop environment, and a decibel reading of around 60. And now let's try the AirPods Pro in a coffee shop environment. These are the AirPods Pro in a coffee shop environment. These are the AirPods Pro in a coffee shop environment, and we have a decibel reading of around 60. So let's be quiet for a moment that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the AirPods Pro in a coffee shop environment. So, and now let's test the Bowser Wilkins PI7 in a noisy environment. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in a noisy environment. And we have a decibel reading of around 60. These are the Bowers and Wilkins in a noisy environment with a decibel reading of around 60. So let's be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 in a noisy environment. How do they compare to the other? Let's test the Sony Link Buds in a coffee shop environment. These are the Sony Link Buds in a coffee shop environment. These are the Sony Link Buds in a coffee shop environment, and they have a decibel reading of around 60. I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the Sony Link Buds in a coffee shop environment, and a decibel reading of around 60. And now let's try the Sennheiser presence in a coffee shop environment. This is the Sennheiser presence in a coffee shop environment. This is the um, Sennheiser presence in a coffee shop environment. And we have a decibel reading of around 60. I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. This is the Sennheiser presence in a noisy environment and the decibel reading of around 60. Well, and now the Bosca Comfort in a coffee shop environment. These are the Bosca Comfort in a coffee shop environment. And we have a decibel reading of around 60. These are the Bosca Comfort in a coffee shop environment and a decibel reading of around 60. How are they performing? What do you think? And now the Apple EarPods in a coffee shop environment. These are the uh, Apple EarPods in a coffee shop environment. And we have a decibel reading of around 60. These are the Apple EarPods in a coffee shop environment. These are the Apple EarPods in a coffee shop environment at this time with the microphone a little bit closer to my mouth. Well, and now let's try the Powerbeats Pro in a coffee shop environment. These are the Powerbeats Pro in a coffee shop environment and we have a decibel rating of around 60. These are the Powerbeats Pro in a coffee shop environment. So let's stay quiet for a moment that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the Powerbeats Pro in a very noisy environment. Well, and now let's test the Bo 700 in a noisy environment. These are the Bo 700 in a noisy environment. And we have a decibel reading of around um, 60. These are the Bo 700 in a noisy environment. I'm going to be quiet for a while so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. So these are the Bose 700 in a noisy environment with a decibel reading of around 60. How do they compare to the other ones? Now the Biodynamic Salento in a coffee shop environment. 
These are the higher dynamic cilento in a noisy environment, and we have a decibel reading of around 60. These are the biodynamic cilento in a noisy environment with a decibel reading of around 60. Now the Bang & Olufsen BioPlay H3 in a noisy environment. This is the Bang & Olufsen H3 in a noisy environment and we have a decibel reading of around 60. This is the Bang and Olufsen Bioplay H3 in a noisy environment and a decibel reading of around 60. This time the um, one more E1010 in a noisy environment. These are the one more E1010 in a very noisy environment and we have a decibel reading of around 60. These are the one more E1010 in a very noisy environment. Well, and now the Plantronics P7200 in a noisy environment. This is the Plantronics P7200 in a very noisy environment. We have a decibel reading of around 60. This is the Plantronics P7200 in a very noisy environment. Well, and now the Jabra speak in a noisy environment. This is the Jabra speak in a noisy environment. And we have a decibel reading of around 60. This is the Jabra speak in a coffee shop environment. Well, now let's um, use the second background noise. It's in the background noise of a train passing by. So this is the uh, background noise of a train passing by. And we have a decibel reading of about 75 to 80. And we have a decibel reading at the topmost of um, about 70 to, uh, 75 to 80. This is the uh, background noise of a train passing by. Also, a few cars, and it's recorded with my MacBook Air M2 and built in microphones. Well, and now let's test the Jabra Talk 65 with a train passing by. So, this is the Jabra Talk 65 with a train passing by, and we have a decibel reading of about 65 to 70 at top most. This is the Jabra Talk with a train passing by. And um, there's a reading of about 65 to 70. Well, now let's try the Voyager 5200 with a train passing by in the background. These are the Voyager 5200 with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of about 65 to 70. These are the Voyager 5200 with a train passing by in the background and a decibel reading of about 65 to 70 right now at the moment. And there are also a few cars passing by in the background. How do they sound like compared to the other headset? Well, and now let's try the AirPods Pro with a train passing by in the background. These are the AirPods Pro with a train passing by in the background. And we had a decibel reading on around 65 to 70. These are the AirPods Pro with trains passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of about 65 to 70 with the highest value around 70. These are the AirPods Pro with train passing by in the background and also a few cars. So, and now let's try the Bowers and Wilkins with a train passing by in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins with a train passing by in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the Bowers and Wilkins with a train passing by in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins with a train passing by in the background, and a decibel reading of around 65 to 70, and a few cars passing by. 
identify these Sony limbats with a train passing by in the background. These are the Sony limbats with the train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the Sony link buds with a train passing by in the background. And, and the decimal readings of about 65 to 70. Well, and now the Sennheiser presence with a train passing by in the background. This is the Sennheiser presence with a train passing by in the background, and we have a decibel reading around 65 to 70 at the highest point. This is the Sennheiser presence with a train passing by in the background, and a decimal reading of around 65 to 70. How does it sound like? How much noise is coming through? Well, and now they're both quite comfort with a uh, train passing by in the background. These are the both quite comfort with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the both quite comfort with a train passing by in the background. These are the Apple earpods with a train passing by in the background. These are the Apple earpods with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the Apple earpods with a train passing by in the background and a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. And now the Powerbeats Pro with a train passing by in the background. These are the Powerbeats Pro with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the Powerbeats Pro with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading with the highest value of around 70. These are the Powerbeats Pro with a train passing by in the background. So now we have to try the Bose 700 with a train passing by in the background. These are the Bose 700 with a train passing by in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around um, 65 to 70. These are the Bose 700 with a train passing by in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. How much noise is coming through? And now the biodynamic Celento with a train passing by in the background. These are the biodynamic Celento with a train passing by in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. These are the biodynamic Celento with a train passing by in the background and a decimal reading of around 65 to 70. Time to bang an oil of some BioPlay H3 with a train passing by in the background. This is the bang an oil of some BioPlay H3 with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decimal reading of around 65 to 70. This is the Bang & Olufsen Bioplay H3 with a train passing by in the background and a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. And this time the one more E1010 with a train passing by in the background. These are the one more E1010 with a train passing by in the background. These are the one more E1010 with a train passing by in the background and a decibel reading of around uh, 65 to 70. These are the one more E1010 with a train passing by in the background and a noise level of around 65 to 70. Well, and now the Plantronics P7200 with a train passing by in the background. 
This is the Plantronics P7200 with a train passing by in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. This is the Plantronics P7200 in a very noisy environment with a train passing by in the background. How did Jabra speak with a train passing by in the background? This is the Jabra speak with a train passing by in the background. This is the Jabra speak with a train passing by in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 65 to 70. This is the Jabra speak with a train passing by in the background. And uh, this will be reading of 65 to 70. So uh, maybe you're working from home and somebody else is losing the toilet while you are in a meeting. So this is why I included this sound of the toilet in the background. So now we are going to try the uh, Java Talk 65 with a toilet in the background. This is the Java Talk 65 with a toilet flushing in the background. And we had a decibel reading with the highest value of around 60. So now let's write the same with a toilet flashing in the background. This is the Voyager 5200 with a toilet flashing in the background. Well, now let's test the AirPods Pro with a toilet flashing in the background. These are the AirPods Pro with the toilet flashing in the background. So, and now let's test the Bowers Wilkins with a toilet flashing in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins with a toilet flashing in the background. Now let's try the Sony LinkPods with a toilet flashing in the background. For whatever it's good, let's try the Sony LinkPods with a toilet flashing in the background. <laughs> These are the Sony link buds with the toilet flashing in the background. Well, and now the Sennheiser Presence with the toilet flashing in the background, for whatever is good. This is the Sennheiser Presence with the toilet flashing in the background. Well, and now the both quite comfort with the toilet flashing in the background. These are the both quite comfort with the, with the toilet flashing in the background. These are the um, Apple earpods with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Apple earpods with a toilet flushing in the background. Well, and now let's try the Powerbits Pro with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Powerbits Pro with a toilet flushing in the background. Now, the Bose 700 with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Bose 700 with a toilet flushing in the background. Now the Biodynamic Salento with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the Biodynamic Salento with a toilet flushing in the background. And now the Bang & Olsen Bioplay A3 with a toilet flushing in the background. This is the this is the Bang & Olufsen Bioplay A3 with a toilet flushing in the background. Well, and this time the one more E1010 with a toilet flushing in the background. These are the one, uh, even more, one more E1010 with toilet flushing in the background. Well, and now the Plantronics P7200 with a toilet flushing in the background. <laughs> This is the Plantronics P7200 with a toilet flushing in the background. And now the Jabra Speak with a toilet flushing in the background. This is the Jabra Speak with a toilet flushing in the background. Now we are going to try a dishwasher running in the background. This is the dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60 and this is recorded with the built-in microphone of my MacBook Air M2. 
Now the Jabra Talk 65 with dishwasher running in the background. This is the Jabra Talk 65 with dishwasher running in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. This is the Jabra Talk 65 with a dishwasher running in the background and a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. And now the Blantronics Voyager 5200 with a dishwasher running in the background. This is the Blantronics Voyager 5200 with a dishwasher running in the background. This is the Blantronics Voyager 5200 with a dishwasher running in the background and a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. And now the Apple AirPods Pro with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Apple AirPods Pro with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Apple AirPods Pro with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of, um, of around 55 to 60. And now the Bowers of Wilkins PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Bowers and Wilkins PI7 with a dishwasher running in the background, and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. These are the Sony Link Buds, this time with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Sony Link Buds with a dishwasher running in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. These are the Sony link parts with the dishwasher running in the background and a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. Now the Sennheiser presence with a dishwasher running in the background. This is the Sennheiser presence with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. This is the Sennheiser presence with a dishwasher running in the background. And now the both quite comfort with the dishwasher running in the background. These are the both quite comfort with a dishwasher running in the background. I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. These are the Bose Quite Comfort earbuds with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. And now the Apple earpods with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the uh, Apple earpods with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Apple EarPods with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. And now the Powerbeats Pro with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Powerbeats Pro with a dishwasher running in the background. These are Powerbeats Pro with the dishwasher running in the background, and we have a decibel rating of around 55 to 60. And now we are going to test the Bose 700 with a dishwasher running in the background. This is the Bose 700 with a dishwasher running in the background. I'm going to be quiet for a moment so that you can hear how much noise is coming through. This is the Bose 700 with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 60, 55 to 60. The Biodynamics Cylinder with a dishwasher running in the background. These are the Biodynamics Cylinder with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. These are the Biodynamic Salento with a dishwasher running in the background and a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. The 
bangen all of some video play i3 with a dishwasher running in the background this is the bun and all of some video play i3 with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 60 55 to 60. this is the bang and all of some video play h3 with a dishwasher running in the background and a decibel reading of around 60 55 to 60. I'll do one more e1010 with the dishwasher running in the background. These are the uh, one more e1010 with the dishwasher running in the background. And we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. Now the Plantronics P7200 with the dishwasher running in the background. These are the Plantronics P7200 with a dishwasher running in the background. We have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. The Java speak with a dishwasher running in the background. This is the Java speak with a dishwasher running in the background and we have a decibel reading of around 55 to 60. This is Jabra speak with a dishwasher running in the background. Well, that's it for today's call quality test. What do you think? Which one has the best call quality? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm really eager to hear your feedback. Well, I was always looking for the one to rule them all the best in terms of call quality and the best in terms of audio quality, but I'm not sure if it yet exists. So if you know a headset, a headphone that you would recommend, please let me know. Well, when it comes to my usage for business calls, I'm still using the Voyager 5200 most of the time, but I want to give the Jabra Talk 65 a try during the coming weeks. When I'm listening to audio, to lossless audio especially, I'm using the um, Biodynamics Xilento, and when I'm on the go and want to listen to high quality audio, I'm using the Bowers & Wilkins PI7. But I also carry around my AirPods Pro most of the time, so they in regular use too. Well, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up, and if you want to support my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.